Hi, I'm Keith Burley, creator of the Reef Aquarium DVD and the Reef Aquarium TV, here to talk to you and show you how to install a fantastic new product, the Waveline 10,000 DC Pump by Reef Life Support Systems. I am truly looking forward to the benefits of having this pump in my system. Not only is this pump much more energy efficient, it is extremely quiet and should make a noticeable difference in tank noise. My existing pump is 290 watts. Running 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, it costs me slightly over $300 in electricity every year, figuring 12 cents per kilowatt hour. My new Waveline 10,000 is a direct current pump, and it runs much more efficiently at 95 watts on full. This would cost me about $100 in electricity every year if we were to run it on full. But wait, there's more. Since this pump is so well designed, we are not going to be running it on high. When we run the new wave line on anything less than full, all the savings of electricity goes into our pocket. With the AC pump, you usually don't run it on partial power, and you have to use a ball valve to control the flow. Using a ball valve does not save on your electricity bill. However, we will still incorporate them into the new plumbing to keep as much control of the flow as possible. In addition to its unique design, the DC-10,000 generates less heat. The energy efficiency translates into less heat and evaporation. Second, all the internal circuitry and processing reside in the controller and not in the pump body. Therefore, heat generated by the processor is not in the water. Hence, the reason why they have such a large heat sink on the controller. Essentially, the pump block is just muscle and the controller is the brain. Here is what the inside of the pump looks like with the mushroom-shaped impeller. This design allows more pressure than an open blade impeller. Notice how small this pump is but don't let the pump small size fool you. It is rated at 2,853 gallons per hour, which is over 1,000 gallons per hour more than the AC pump. This pump has a great hydraulic design to adjust flow rate and optimize efficiency. Also, this pump is using second generation electronics, which means that they made improvements from the first generation. What makes the Waveline series so quiet? AC pumps have two poles, north and south. When electricity is on, the shaft turns 180 degrees, then turns another 180 degrees, half circles. With these large turns, the pumps begin to have vibration. Our DC pumps have four pole designs, not two. The shaft turns 90 degrees at a time, thus the pump vibration is much less than the AC pump design. AC electronics are much louder than DC, and the frequency is higher in AC. The DC pumps have a lower hum, which is not as bothersome to the ear. The DC-10,000 can be used internally, submersed, or externally, in line. The pump has four titanium screws, which seal the pump body to the front. In order to install this new Waveline 10,000, I have to do a little plumbing. I shut off the old pump, do some cutting of old pipe, and line up the Waveline 10,000 to my sump. It is just a little lower than my old pump, so I'll add a layer or two of rubber underneath to make it a little higher. Now, once I get the pump lined up correctly to the sump, I can tighten the pump's fittings and connect it to the pipes. Your Waveline pump comes with barb fitting connectors. I choose not to use these as you need a hose and clamps. I am tying this pump into my existing system, which is PVC. To plumb this Waveline 10,000 for PVC, you will need a female one and one half inch bushing for the intake and a female one and one quarter inch bushing for the top output. I use adapters to get from the sump to the pump and up again. When gluing together PVC, I recommend using a primer before you glue. Primer cleans and softens the pipe before you apply the glue. Once you use primer and glue, the fitting becomes permanent. This main pipe tees going to the left and right of the tank, while this output here goes to my chiller in the attic. This pump has to have some power to get the water to the attic. Now that the plumbing is all done, let us turn on our Waveline 10,000 and see how it works. Even on the low setting, there's plenty of flow. I have this wonderful controller here that I can adjust the flow rate. There is also a 30 minute feed mode if I choose to use it. Now these are the real reactions of my family as they hear the noise difference of the Waveline 10,000 for the first time. I'll hear it. Yeah, it's a lot quieter. Is it done? Yeah, it's on. This is so much quieter. It's an unbelievable. 
This Waveline 10,000 is a great pump that is extremely quiet and will pay for itself with electric savings very quickly. After installing the Waveline in my system, I can't say enough great things about it. I was surprised to see that my tank started running four degrees cooler than with my old pump, which is going to save me even more money during the summer. Whether you're starting a new system or looking to improve your existing system, these Waveline pumps are a tremendous value. If you would like to order one, you could call us at 803-788-4445 or visit us at AquariumSpecialty.com.